Welcome to my channel and this is Tora. In this series, I will show you how to use Salome for industrial applications together with OpenForm. Salome is a very powerful tool to create the geometry and the computational mesh you need for your CFD simulation. In the previous video, I show you how to create this geometry from scratch and in this video, I will explain how to create a mesh in this Salome meshing. So let's go ahead. So this is a shaper module and we need to move on to meshing it. So here is the shaper geometry and mesh. Just click this and we are in the meshing module. So first we want to see our geometry and we click the fuse which is our shaper geometry and we want to create the mesh right so we need to click this mesh and create mesh and here is the create mesh dialog box the name you can change it or keep it like this and the geometry is fuse 1 1 which is our this shaper geometry and we can put like the mesh type to be any type. We can define like triangular, tetrahedral, or combined. So I will keep any. Okay. And for this algorithm, I will choose NetGen 1D, 2D, 3D. It's a combination of 1D, 2D, 3D algorithms. We can keep it like NetGen 3D and here NetGen 1D and 2D. So we can separate it out or we can combine it. So I will combine for this uh, tutorial. Okay. And click apply. Now we have our mesh. This is our mesh one. And I will hide the fuse and shape our geometry. And I will create the mesh. So to create generate the mesh, right click in this mesh and click compute. So here we go. We have our very first computational mesh, which is the volume mesh. We can use this directly for open form or any type of CFD simulations, maybe even ANSYS. Okay. So we want to see the outside is looking good, but we want to see the inside what's happening inside this mesh. So right click this and click the clipping. Okay. And okay. To create a clipping plane, we need to click this new absolute plane. And our plane is in y direction. So I will set the rest dx and dz to be zero click apply and close so we have our inside of the mesh we can see the mesh is too coarse okay we will deal it with later but first we want to include a viscose layer mesh so this mesh is totally tetrahedral tets and there is no boundary layer mesh we need a viscous prism layer and I will go into the creating it so right click this mesh and click the edit mesh we are going back to the uh, edit mesh dialog box which is the same as the create mesh okay and in this additional hypothesis we can click on this gear button and viscous layer and we can uh, set the thickness of the viscous layer okay i will make a test 2.05 meter and the layers to be three layers and the stretch factors 1.2 and i need to instruct which patches or walls i want to create the mesh for so i will click this 
specify faces are faces with layers I need to choose the walls so I already created the wall step just click this object browser and X now we have uh, our faces and ready for creating the layers and just click OK and apply them and as it before right click and compute now we have our boundary layer mesh but the problem here is the mesh is too coarse and the boundary layer mesh is too thin so the difference in this the size between this head and this prism is too large I don't like it I want to make smooth transition between these meshes so I want to refine the mesh right click again and edit mesh this time I will crank this hypothesis click on this here button let them 3d parameters and reduce to the points which apply to point 2 and I will keep this like 0.2 to 0 0.01 okay. and apply and I want to crank it again but, but there is also a button here uh, this gear button it's also compute we, we can click whatever we want okay. we can right click this and click the compute or we can directly click this gear so the mesh is a little bit finer but uh, the dis difference between the boundary layer mesh and the nearer, nearest mesh is still large so one of the solutions to one of the workarounds to make it simple is to refine only the surface of this wall okay so I want to refine only this, this surface so I, I need to create a sub mesh so right click again and click create sub mesh and we have our sub mesh and here is the main mesh is the mesh one which is our mesh and the geometry we need to define it so we want to create a sub mesh for the walls so click the walls and here it's coming in and it the walls is only a surface so the sub mesh for this will be a 2D mesh and we will use netgen net 1D 2D and now I can set the parameters for and I can only generate this sub mesh to compute and size is still a little bit too big okay. okay. I will use something okay this seems a little much fine so I will create the main mesh right click the main mesh and compute now the main mesh is generated and here we go the boundary layer mesh and the nearest meshes are in the same order in terms of size and we can see the mesh is really a good mesh And we can just remove the clipping and see the whole picture. So this is really good, nice mesh.
So finally, I will export the mesh as an idea and UNV file. So this is uh, open form can easily uh, transform this type of ideas UNV file to open form mesh. And just remember to click the remember. Okay, that's that's it for me meshing. And in the next video, I will uh, convert this ideas UNV mesh to open form mesh. And I will uh, set up the boundary conditions and run the simulation. Thank you for watching, and please stay in tune. And please like and subscribe this channel, and I will appreciate it. Thank you very much.